How do? Just found me sent a little perch. So they've got Khalif, yeah? Which is all good. Good for everyone. Good for the Homeland Security Forces. And it's good for Wandsworth Prison. Believe it or believe it not. There is going to be a public investigation. I am not for, you know, the minnows, prison officers, OSGs, operational sport grades, civvies in the kitchen or anyone else getting smashed and bashed over this escape. Yeah, you need to look at the wider picture, what's happening in the prison service, staffing wise. Yeah, let's highlight it. Anybody out there knows anyone mainstream media? Yeah, get me on. I'll tell you exactly what's happening. You know, no bullshit. So they've got him. He's getting cat-aid off straight away. I'm cat aiming me. Yeah, and he's getting e-listed quite definitely. So an e-list. Um, escape risk. E-list prisoners. All over YouTube, if you put e-list in, they have to wear a specific set of clothing. Yeah. Stripes or big checks, blue and yellow, bright. So when they're on the wing, you can see them. You can see who they are. When they go to court, they have a jumpsuit, blue and yellow jumpsuit, yeah? And a lot of procedures around them. They have to be checked regularly. At Strange Ways, they used to be on a book. I don't know whether that happens everywhere. What I mean by that, it's a little book. And if I'm in, ch if I'm in charge of e-listers on my shift, I need to be checking on them every hour and make an observation in cell, on landing, and sign for it. Within the hour, not every hour, within the hour. Yeah? At night, when they go to bed, bless them, you will go to their cell and you have a box and you will take all their clothing off them. You will take their e-list clothing off them. You will take their trainers or footwear out of the cell. They will be given a set of e-list pajamas. What are they? <laughs> Striped or checked blue and yellow pajamas. If they're going to escape at night, they're going to be in pajamas with slippers. All very dinky. Yeah. But on a serious note, on a serious note, more observations. Yeah. These can be people who are deemed high risk to the public because they have the means to escape. If you go back to the Whitemore escape when that happened, yeah, people who may be connected with the mafia or the IRA. Big networks, yeah, they have firearms, they have manpower, they have money. Those guys could be deemed risk of escape, so they would be e-listers, yeah. When I worked in the private sector, the jail I worked at was a Cat B local. That jail was built as a high security jail, as a Cat A jail. We had one or two e-listers in. Yeah, they were on normal location on wings in the green and yellow with the pajamas at night. At Strange Ways where I work, where we had a Cat A unit, the E-listers were located on that unit. Now they could be Cat C prisoners or Cat B. Not necessarily Cat A's, but the fact they were E-listers, they were on the Cat A unit and they were monitored closely. People who jump the dock Go to court, get over the dock, leg it. They can end up, when they're captured, as e-listers. Yeah? I know people who've jumped the dock who haven't been e-listers. Why that is, I don't know. People who abscond from Cat D walk out, because there's no, there's no fencing, there's no razor wire. You know, you literally walk out. When they're caught, they're not necessarily e-listers. If you're at Cat D, you should be low risk. So the fact you've got off doesn't make you any more of a risk to the public. You're not high risk to the public or the police or the state. Yeah? You see where we're going with this. People on remand or 
who are sentenced who are a risk would be e-listers. And then you get prisoners who play the game. Yeah. We had that at Strange Ways. A couple of lads on the remand wing, three of them, get on the phone to their loved ones, or we're going to make an escape. They were well known, really well known. We're going to escape. Plain as day, talking, staff could hear them, phones were checked, they said they were going to escape, yeah? It was just a blag, they were just playing the game. Sure enough, security come on, double cuffed, taken to the Cat A unit, and they were put in the uniform. <laughs> Yellow and blue checks. Them lads didn't want to be on K-Wing, the remand wing, it was like a zoo. They wanted to be on the Cates, and that's where they got put. They were playing a game. They said the right things. They knew where they'd end up. They get Cate gym. On our Cate unit, the gym was quality, real quality. That's where they ended up. Yeah. After a period of time, that e list goes away, but you can play the game if you want. So he's going to be e list. I would think he'd be on the unit at Belmarsh. Cate off. E listed. Now to answer some of the comments, a lot of you have said this lad has not been found guilty of anything. Indeed, he hasn't. However, the fact he's got off um, would suggest to me that, you know, nothing to lose, maybe looking at big time if they've got anything on him. I will be doing a video tomorrow on the difference between Cat A and Cat B prisoners. So Khalif was a Cat B when he was in Wandsworth. I will also be doing a video on controversial, my friend says, but on what I think actually happened and who helped him, what LP got to escape. Because he did get some help. Maybe not like you guys think, but he definitely got some help. Anyway, I'm in a beautiful neck of the country. I'll just give you a quick, I'll do back with you for some reason I got cut off then I'm in a beautiful neck of the woods I will give you a glimpse of the scenery so yeah Khalif now an e-lister on the unit at Belmarsh if he's not at Belmarsh he'll be somewhere else on a Cate unit yeah looking at big time high risk very high risk extreme risk who knows Thanks for your continued support. I haven't got to all the comments yet. Any questions you've got, I will answer best I can. Um, yeah, I'm glad they've got him. And like I say, I hope it's the minnows, the people at the bottom just don't get slammed. They need to look at it prison wide. What's going on? Uh, they need to learn lessons. Uh, so yeah, prisons under the spotlight. I'll tell you about prisons. I'll tell anyone. Get me on mainstream media. Thanks for coming. I'll see you there.